Hello, everybody. Uh, how's your Wednesday morning going? Well, it's going up in the afternoon. Today, I would like to talk to you about something important. I would like to talk to you about the business Haven Communities. Haven Communities is provides, as they say, quality and affordable manufactured homes in caring communities across the United States. They, uh, man, it, they are basically a management company for uh, lots for mobile homes. And I guess you're wondering why we're talking about this. Well, there was this lovely TikTok posted by Mr. Seriously Cody. I'll we'll have the link to this particular video in the description. And let's watch it together. I'm just going to be silent for, for a good chunk of this. Not all of it. I will pause and make comments. Hey, can you guys do me a favor and just listen to this video, like mm -hmm. it, comment, share it? Um, I'm trying. Yes, if you have, and I'm, I'm, I encourage you. If you have a TikTok, go to his video, interact with it, and so we can sigma boost it some more. It's important. I'm trying to spread awareness of what's going on in our in our trailer park here. So we had these uh, out of state companies come in. Well, it's just one, I guess. It's Haven Park Communities. Um, they're on Google. Do with that what you will. And that, and I did that, and I was horrified, and that's why this video is being made. They came in, and they're trying to change all the rules, and and essentially making it so people can't afford to fucking live here anymore. Mm -hmm. We don't live here because we want to. We live here because we fucking have to. Are you shitting me? Here's where I'm standing right here, and that up there is the fucking landfill. We live right by the goddamn fucking dump. And they're coming in here saying that, uh, no trailers over 20 years old allowed. Well, fuck, I'm fucked. You gotta have vinyl siding at least. Well, I got aluminum siding. How am I gonna fucking afford to put vinyl siding on this? Do you think I can? So let's be clear, and he'll make this point later in the video. The purpose of all of, of, of adding a bunch of new rules that, they, that are expensive to a traditionally low-income community is because they want to force all the old residents out so they can do whatever they want with the property presumably fill it with their own and then have a brand new base that they bring in at higher rent prices and it's just disgusting and fuck no you gotta have a shingled roof well i'm fucking out there too i guess any fences that are put up are no longer allowed we have to take all the fences down ourselves we have to fucking pay for that all right not only that um we're not allowed to fucking take our trailer anyway if we own our trailer we can't hook up to it and leave without written permission from Haven Park. That seems fucking illegal. We're not allowed to have any kind of signs on any of the property except for one for sale sign in the front window of our trailer. And it has to be under a certain like dimension. What the fuck is that? I can't even have a for sale sign in my car when I'm trying to sell my car. What the fuck, dude? We're only allowed three vehicles per house. Three vehicles. Well, that's what I got, I guess. I got a trailer too. Hopefully they don't fucking try to take that away, right? They're making it so the people that live here can't afford to follow their fucking rules and then they're going to get evicted. They're going to get evicted and they're going to bring more people in. Did I mention we live by the fucking dump? Dude, the wind blows the wrong way during the day and it smells like fucking garbage. What are you trying to fucking do, dude? We have a lady here. She's had her husky for three years, I believe, and they're telling her she's either got to leave or... What baffles me is, is, is that they, like, that they think that, like... The only people that are going to live here, even after they build it up, are just going to be more, more, just other poor and broke and desperate people. Like, do they think that millennials from the city or boom or wealthy boomers are going to retire out here? No, of course not. It's just exploitation of the poor. But we continue. Or get rid of the husky because it's a dangerous breed. It's been here. They said a husky is a dangerous breed. Wow. For three years, nobody's had a fucking problem with that. Are you shitting me? I have a German Shepherd. I bet they're fucking coming after me, too. Not to mention the fucking water that we're paying for that is drinkable. What the fuck, man? So, by the way, at the beginning, that dank-ass water you saw in that beginning of the clip of the video, that's their water. That is their drinkable water. Oh, and property tax. We gotta start paying property tax. 
So you're set, so not only are so they're also planning to pay they're renters they're renting the land that their mobile home is on, and they have to pay property tax, not the company that owns the actual land. Make it make sense. This ain't my fucking lot, motherfucker. I pay lot rent, and lot rent's expensive as fuck. You fucking kidding me? It's just big wig fucking people coming in and destroying these fucking small time communities, kicking all of us people that can't afford anything out. So they can fucking bring in more fucking people with more money. What the fuck, dude? How is even... Bear in mind, people with actual money, with more money, aren't going to be living here. If you have the option to choose whether or not you're going to live... Like, the people that are going to live here are going to be poor. Because, and you, and, and, and all of you, and, and, and to the conservative in the comment section that says I'm about, I'm ha it's, 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 it's like... Classism of low expectations. Kill yourself, because I'm going to be completely honest with you. If you had the fucking choice between living in, like, in a place that was next to a dump or not next to a dump, what would you choose? Exactly. Nobody chooses to live next to a dump. So the people who are going to be living here are going to be paying an extra three, four hundred dollars a month or more just just to live where they were going to be living anyways if it did if the if the company didn't come in and try and make an excuse for them to have make more money off of it this possible just if you could please do me a favor just like and share it and get the word out man it's why we're making this video why you if you're watching this should go do that it's it's haven park communities like i said they're on google so I then, so that to me is interesting. You have a gigantic, you have basically what is a land management firm basically beating down and, and exploiting poor people. Not good. They're shit. And frankly, I, and I frankly, we, we should, I think this is all morally outrageous because they are trying to drive people off out of their homes. And you got to remember, mobile homes like are are not necessarily mobile like you some you can hitch to the back of a truck and drive away but some are like just locked into the ground they're mobile because they can be moved and picked up wholesale if need be but that doesn't mean they're intended to do that frequently the fact of the matter is is that the people that live in mobile homes a lot of the time don't have a whole bunch of money and it and coincidentally it if we're, depending on the mobile home, it can cost an obscene amount of money to move it somewhere else. And so, on top of them illegally, you know, you know, preventing people from moving the their mobile homes from their like from off the land, the, it it is it is the, even if people they decide, they decide fuck it we're gonna go somewhere else, some people just aren't able to financially do that. Side note, a lot of people living in mobile homes are over the age of 60 living on a con on a con on con on controlled on a controlled budget. Those people are not, don't have savings. They're not capable of doing that. And that brings me to my exploration of the Better Business Bureau cuz for those who are unaware, the Better Business Bureau is Yelp for boomers. And this, this company has a lot of complaints against them. This person says, Haven Park illegally purchased the countryside village in a close purchase without notifying the residents. I used to be a manager, and now they are trying to evict me so far as to return my rent assistance and saying that I don't have a lease to, to rent assistance. Now I was presented with a blank... So, so there's, so to be clear, there's a lot of like censorship here, and I don't know, and I, and I, and I think that is more from Haven Park censoring their comments using the ability to like hide, you know, important information so people don't know the awful, heinous shit they've done. So they basically, they, so. They said, we have received your eviction complaint. We strongly deny your allegations of predatory actions or retaliation being taken against you. 
We have purchased the community legally and follow all applicable state laws. In your case, we filed an eviction based on non-payment and material rules violations. So remember from the video, they said that you have to have a certain type of siding, certain type of roofing, certain certain uh, style of roofing that you have to pay for to get out of pocket yourself. So they so he so what probably happened with this person is they told him that he had to pay out of pocket to change these things and then he said fuck you and then they said we're going to evict you and he just didn't pay because they they're being dickheads and that's how we get to this C complaint I'm rejecting this response because they physically know about your predatory action, how your company laughs at it and makes fun of the parks. So this person used to work here at, at like at the countryside village place that that Haven bought, Haven Park bought, and he and he's just trying to lay out tea. But here's the thing, they censor Haven Park censored a lot of things, as well as his name, and pl and, and plenty of other names to try and kind of find out more about these heinous activities. And it just keeps going and going and going. And, and, and this is kind of, look, I moved out of the da 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 location, so we don't even know what location. And I've been waiting for my deposit. Delay. Yeah, they, 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 these people, these people are disgusting. They're, they're, they're not good. Because here's the thing. He says, we sincerely apologize for this delay. Your deposit was been cut on sent in the mail on, on March, da, 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 da. Please contact. Here's the thing. Homie didn't get it. Listen. We are a month and a half from the date his check was cut. More than a month and a half at this point. And he still ain't got his money. And it's still, the status is still answered. They never sent him his fucking money. So, so what, what's the whole point of this? Uh, Haven Park Communities is a scummy, shitty company. And I say that not because, and I, and I came to that conclusion because of the actions that, they're, that, on their, that I've seen on their Better Business Bureau, as well as their actions to, the, from, to, the, to Mr. Seriously Cody on TikTok. The fact of the matter is, is that this needs a little more signal boosting, and this is grotesque, and uh, solidarity. Solidarity with the working class. And that's the whole point. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Go give him some love. Um, the link will be down in the comments, first thing. Uh, I, I love you. I appreciate you for watching. Please consider subscribing. If you aren't already, please consider joining my Patreon. I do... I, I like I, I, I appreciate all of these wonderful human beings who support me in everything I do. Um, I should be going live a little bit later. That will be a bunch of fun. Um, I love your fucking faces and have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day.